that little older bro to younger bro chat is very, very important. Oh shit. Sean, come on. Sean. Sean, move it now. What? What? Oh shit. Sean. I don't know what song this is, but I like it. Roll on the copyright warning. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. This is sick. Yeah, even dogs just like bopping his head. I wonder. People going missing has to do with something with the weed farm, right? I mean, think he, he can't just let people walk away knowing that his secret is is vulnerable like that, you know? Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> Well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm. <laughs> I think he's heard worse. Besides, by he's now, yeah. Now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger, and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris, and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Save it all socks, new toothbrush. New toothbrush. Oh, warm feet or clean, clean teeth any day. Maybe a new toothbrush for me and Daniel. I know you guys dig our morning breath. No. No, we all think it's really hot, actually. <laughs> so that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? <laughs> okay. Let's get this over with. Finn. Cassidy. Sean. And, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. 
No Daniel? Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. But we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay. We'll be right back. Ugh. Just pet the dog. Just pet that for dog. Once you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Oh, what the fuck, man. Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Shh. I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way. Now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph. Just teach him a lesson. Mm-mm. Oh, he's Let got an idea go. now. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <laughs> Ow! What? The... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! <sighs> Man, I'd take a beating for my little brother any day of the week. I don't, didn't even need to think about it. <laughs> Personally, I would have broken his fucking nose, but you know. But now they all know! Fucking Daniel, man! Whoa. Ah, man. Oh, shit. Well, that's it. Believe it or not. Told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here, in case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man, so Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA too. 
Do you have a superpower? <laughs> Dealing yeah. with Daniel. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're lucky you're my brother. Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. He's a reptilian. <laughs> started in Seattle. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us, promise. You can trust mm. us. Jake? I don't know, I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. Mm -hmm. It's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. I feel like he would, actually. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. I've got a bad feeling about Jake. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Him and Jake, summing up. Summing up with him and Jake. Uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. Uh... In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? Abso fucking no loot, fucking you know. way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so uh, selfish, man. How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He's gonna try and get in Daniel's head. He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. Oh. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude. I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Like... Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but... What if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't like know Jake. what can happen. Yeah, maybe. We'll just have to be careful then. <sighs> At least we won't have to worry about any of this once we're in Puerto Lobos. Fuck Puerto Lobos. We'll talk later. Okay, 
Some music playing. Guess everyone's expecting me. Better hit uh, that party. Ooh. What kind of tattoo is our boy gonna get? Shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. Dude, what the dude. fuck are we supposed to do? Fuck him. I kind of feel her. First, girl. Being so right far from now, home. But... And with someone getting on her nerves half the time. So long. And we're so far Damn. from Sweden. I'm gonna miss Cass. No. Never met anybody like her. So different from the parties I had in Seattle. But I, so different from the parties I had in Seattle. But I feel good here. What is Jacob doing? Hey. Why so sad, little man? Uh, I miss... I miss my playbots. What are playbots? Like robot stuff? Play... Bots, not play bots. It's for video games. Ah, that's why I don't know it. Have a drink with Finn. Talk to Cassidy about the tattoo. Sorry. Okay, I guess I just, uh, have a drink with Finn. It's hard really. For me to say some words. He's by himself. <laughs> Oop! Didn't mean to flash you in the face there, my guy. It will be so weird to not hear his stupid voice all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. <laughs> so, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. And took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. Or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're starting all over. And now, you just gotta take the next step. To build a something for you and Daniel, right? Good speech, man. Good speech. <laughs> Not sure what I want. But at this point, yeah. I have no clue what I want to do anymore. I'm just like, what's the point? We're screwed. That's why you have to keep on keeping on. Nobody said it was easy. But you guys are bad motherfuckers. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. More hey, than we had before. Bullshit. After all this, you deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. Mm -hmm. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Don't huh? use that. Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Dude, you're fucking absolutely not. There's no way. I can't. Yeah, no. Didn't even need to think about it. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. <laughs> nah, 
See, Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. Such I a said very, no. very I bad influence. I bet pissed at us because he didn't get paid. I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks yet to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. If I were you, I would be chilling with Cass. <laughs> this is your last night with her. Don't blow it. She'll be a bitch if you don't say goodbye. Do it for me. Mm -hmm. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna zen out. Damn, Finn. Yeah. You need to land, man. I'd rather work my ass off for months than take that risk. Yeah, I can't. They got guns. They're gonna. They. Uh, it's not even a fucking question, man. Not even a fucking question. Can we speak to. Can't speak to Ingrid for some reason. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, yeah. Sean is in the house. Grab a brew, smoke a bowl. I am so good. Thanks, man. I'm. I'm already bust. <laughs> you fucking lightweight. That's what you get for keeping all the coffee to yourself. Messing with you, man. Hey, dudes. I am drunk. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, ass. What's up? Uh, next stop, start drinking. Fuck Meryl. Fuck Meryl? I'm yeah. so pissed we have to bail tomorrow. Bullshit. Fuck Meryl. I can't figure this guy. Hates me, loves Finn. Kicks you out, crazy shit. Doesn't matter now. Mm. We're gone. No more job. I would rage if we did not get paid. Sean, this job ain't a thing. I can hook you up with another farm. Really? That would be fucking great. If you can. No worries. Talk later. I okay. Guess. I want to talk I'm to done. everybody and More then. beer and weed for you. You leave it? Lightweight. We party for you, Sean. Talk later. I'm gonna leave the tattoo till Jacob? last. We're gonna speak to. You look bummed. Or really baked. No, I'm just. No big deal. Fuck that. Come on, give it up. Wait, is it about your money? Uh, yeah, I guess. You get paid next week. Is there something you want to buy? Hey, what's up? Uh, just waiting for your ass? It is your party, dude. That looks like a big Joe bruise. So come on. What the fuck did you guys do? Can we party instead? I stole some weed, Daniel broke into Merrill's. No, can we party instead? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. All I want to do is fucking party tonight. You deserve to after all that shit. Just give me a drink. A bomb. Anything. Look at Sean, ready to rumble. Hear that, Jake? Time to party, not pray. I was just... Sorry. Think you guys are gonna stick around? Maybe. Things will be quiet with you when the tourist is gone. Shitload more work for us. But I think we're all burned out on this place. So who knows? Still. Gonna miss everybody. Yeah, right when I almost like you. Oh. Seriously. You fit in good. Thanks for letting us. Okay. Talk later. Later. Time for tattoo time. Hey. Everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting. Or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. 
What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. Hmm. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. And Finn likes to get his lead on. The fuck is that sound? Who's kicking shit? I don't fucking know. That's a weird sound. Leave by yourself, tell Finn, come with us. Come with us? Leave by yourself. So? Leave by yourself. You know what you're doing. Just take off. And hook up with them later. Easier than it sounds. It's mm. not cool being a gal by yourself on the road. That's very I true. I actually. mean, I can take care of myself, but... Unlike you, I don't have a psychic bodyguard. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's minds. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Not a good idea. Fuck yeah, let's go for it. Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Oh, wait, unless it yes. gets infected. Yes. Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, what do you want? Think hard. A wolf surprise. Oh, a wolf. It's gotta be a wolf. What else could it be? Surprise me? Ah. Uh, what would it be if it was a surprise? Oh, man. Ah. Uh, I, do I want to be typical and get the wolf? Because it is a symbolic thing. Plus, Daniel, I think, is cool. I'm going to go with wolf. Surprise me. Ah, oh, man. It could be a penis. Let's just go with wolf. Um, wolf? Thingy? But not too cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right. Put your arm over here. You okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Hey! Don't move, sweetie. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? Doodling on your arm with a pen? Don't worry. You won't feel the pain. Eventually. Better? Mm-hmm. Not poor, <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. I like how his arm is twitching every time. That's a cool fucking D. I love that. Uh, don't need this to remember. I don't need a tattoo to remember you, Cass. Bullshit. Life's a bitch, Sean. You know it as much as I do. Who knows what's coming for you? A month from now, you can meet a sugar molly, or get hired on a cruise ship to Egypt, or whatever. And before you know it, we'll be a tiny memory in the back of your mind. Will you get a new tattoo to remember me? Yes, I will. I don't want to forget you. I'm really glad I got to meet you, Sean Diaz. From that day at the market, I knew there was something in you. Oh, my. Thanks. It's the same for me. I had hoped that we'd meet again. And we did. Yep. Don't believe in fate, but 
Sometimes life sure does look a lot like it. Stick and poke tattooing is an interesting form of tattooing, actually. What is that tapping sound? And I still don't know what that is. I'm done. That's it. What do you think? It looks good. Thanks a lot. I love it. Mm, it's I'm glad wonderful. You like it. This I'm glad I went with Wolf and not surprised me. Let's just say that. You'll need to buy a healing bomb when you can. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be really badly infected. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. Oh, you're gonna go swimming, and that's gonna get infected for a cool. start. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Feels like you belong. <laughs> ah, sorry, dude. I know you're fucking on cloud nine right now. Jeez. Cassidy's crazy. So don't make her wait at the lake, dude. Mm hmm. Are we. Am I gonna have to censor this episode? Sean! Come on! All right. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Woo! Yes, I'm in. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck this. It's freezing. <laughs> it's all in your head. Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, sure, don't think. <sighs> okay, here I come. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over it. Hurry up. There you go. Bring it home. <laughs> hey, you gotta take it all off. No cheating. What? <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. <laughs> Cassidy, do not even. You are so adorable. Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> My body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. <laughs> and you got a new tattoo. <laughs> that is grim. <laughs> So, what are you going to do about Finn and, you know, his plan? It's a really stupid idea. I'm not Way doing the plan. Especially for Daniel. I know. Finn acts like this is no big deal. Like, this feels bad. Plus, I don't want you guys to get in any more trouble. Yeah. Tell that to Daniel. He's going to be pissed. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. Finn wants to take care of us, but... But he doesn't always see other people. It's all about him. Mm. I know. But I feel bad for ruining his dream. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then I'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Probably shouldn't have left Come Daniel on, alone, actually. You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Uh, I'm not into dating. They can't really ruin the moment, can you? Yeah. I like you too. Oh, Sean. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm flattered. Nor do you bust out this line whenever you go skinny dipping. First time. I swear. Are you sure? 
I'm Ooh. not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm. I don't know. We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do, if that's cool. Yes, it is. See? <gasps> oh, dude. Now, let's get out of here. <laughs> Damn, Sean. You really are cold. Shut up. Stop looking. Oh my god. It happens, man. If it's freezing water, what do you want? <laughs> Leave my guy alone. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where's, where's Daniel? Uh, hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> it's been worse. Sean? Hello? You want me to come inside? If you want to, yeah. I do, but where's where's Daniel? Um. Well, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Did you know when you kissed me in the lake? No, it's just yeah. Daniel's not there, man. I mean, it was a. Where is he? Too. Oh, no, Finn's taken I'm him. I'm so glad I was there for you. Cassidy, ah. I, I didn't. Are you pissed? No, Sean. I think I'll survive. Hey. What's happening? Uh, should I come back? Uh, no. No. Everything's cool. Anybody know where Daniel is? Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find oh, him. Oh, fuck. There it well, is. We didn't see anybody out there. But... Oh, they're gonna go off we and do go the now. fucking... <gasps> Figures Daniel was with him. Just... Tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's... Figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Well, we have to get to Merrill's before then. You're right. Maybe we can borrow one of Big Joe's trucks. Borrow? This is where it all goes fucking this wrong. This is so messed up. I told Daniel. Fucking Finn. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. Hmm. If something happens, fuck me. It's okay. We're gonna get them. Bring them back. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kill Finn myself. Oh, are we here? Oh, no fucking Somebody shit. Somebody build a lock. Of course. Somebody? We probably gotta check a car. Fuck, man. Oh my One fucking truck god. Is See? Those tracks are headed out. Fuck. At least they didn't wake Big Joe up. But if we do, he'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. Lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck. Oh, I'll do the... Okay, okay, okay. I'm with you, I'm with you. I thought you said, okay, okay. Figures. Check the other door now. 
Dude, man, so much has happened so quickly as well. <sighs> Maybe the car then? Cass, check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. And I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Oh Just shit, yeah. Hot damn, Sean. I fucking love it. Plus, we could uh mess with all the other cars so Big Joe can't follow us. That's very love true. What you think we can find some things here to bust shit up, but we can't make a sound. Oh fuck. Sean, I checked the car. All doors locked. Of course. Keep looking around. We need to find a way to open that trunk. Well, I see a toolbox. A bear skull? What do you fucking mean? Uh, screwdriver pickup for sure. What if I just take everything? No? I don't know. Duct tape. <sighs> Forget it. No? Why no that why, 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 okay? Fuck. Bear skull, what? Eco-friendly, my ass. <laughs> They're just criminals. Metal box, was it in this metal box? What was it, nothing? Oh, okay. Nothing over here, man. Okay. Big Joe's house? He's just right over there. Whew. This plan is crazy. No Hurry vibe. up, Sean. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, sure. Okay, but like rat poison. Oh shit. Holy shit. That's why there's no critters around here. Makes sense, I guess. Locked? Okay. Ooh, puncture tight. Yeah. There she blows. That sound it sounded like a gate opening. That's such a satisfying little. <laughs> Love that fucking sound. Damn. That was fun. Not yeah, gonna follow man. us now, motherfucker. Is it worth doing all four or I suppose so, yeah. It pointed there was there was a little thing for the window. And I'm assuming we're not gonna try and smash the window, because that would tr that would get all the attention on us, right? Right? Oh, fuck. Guess we won't be working here anymore. Well, yeah, that's no Finish thanks so to your fucking, fucking brother, stupid. man. Window. Break window? No, we don't want to break the fucking window. That'll get his attention. It's got to be another way, surely. Just got to get in that truck and start her up. Wonder why he keeps that car here. Probably to get down to Arcata and pick up some girls. The force open. Yeah, sure, we can try and do that. Come on. Get in there, fucker. Uh, shit. Oh, shit. We need to get the fuck out of here, Diaz. Uh. 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 Shit. Man. That guy is really not joking. Don't think Hammer. I can use that. Let's just take the hammer, shall we? I'm panicking! Surely it's not to smash the fucking window, no? Yeah, no. I don't see any other way of doing this, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm gonna break the fucking window, I'm gonna risk it and break the fucking window. Damn it. Here it goes. One... Two...
shit. Oh He's shit. Coming. Let's go. Fuck me. Please don't make me do a quick time event to get this started. What the hell? They'll be on us in any second now. Please don't make me do anything. Fuck, Sean, you did it. Let's get out of here. Drive. Fuck this shit. We did it. And it was so close. Yeah, he still has a fucking long-range rifle, though. Look at him just fucking standing. Shit, man. That means we haven't got long. There was no other way. I was looking at everything. The screwdriver could have been a good way to fucking do it, but apparently that didn't work. So the fucking window smashing? Fuck, man. This whole episode is a mess, dude. Is a goddamn mess. I don't like this shit at all. Oh, yeah, well, fucking, yeah. what do we do? I just want to get this over with. If we make it. Don't say that. Things can't go wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Fuck me, Finn man. Is out of control. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy. I'm stupid. We Shit, man. I knew this was gonna. I knew something. I knew it was just gonna be Finn. I knew something like this was gonna happen. I wouldn't. Hannah. Oh, there they are. They're both there. Ballistic. They're both there. They're both there. Scared the shit out of me. Good. What the fuck are you doing? Didn't we settle this, man? Shh. You're gonna wait, Meryl. Finn, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're some fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake, Finn. He's an old soul. He knows what's up. Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. And then you're off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We mm -hmm. got this, man. Trust me. Oh, I've got such a... No. One of them's gonna die. It's no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't even know. You asshole. I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. I swear they're making too much noise and commotion for him to not be awake at this. Oh, don't! Fucking, because I. My instant reaction is no fucking way, right? But something's gonna go wrong. Okay? Something is gonna go fucking horrifically wrong. Oh, God, man, what the fuck? Oh, man, you know, this is so much harder than I'm a fr I'm it's not that I'm reluctant to decide. I know the answer is 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 no fucking way in my head, right? But I'm reluctant because I, I'm afraid of what each thing, the consequences of each thing, right? Because what I've learned from the comment section and just playing this game is that no matter what you fucking pick, there is always, always a consequence, okay? And I don't think I'm ready for any of it. I mean, it's, it's inevitable that I'm going to pick no fucking way at this point because I'm too stuck with my guns, but I, I'm just, oh man, okay, yeah, no fucking way, yeah, it's not happening. He said no fucking way, Sean, please. We're done, Finn. Come Shit's going to go down either way, no. man. No, why should I? We couldn't even find you before. You were with her, right? Who gives a shit? Let's go. Now. No, I'm sick of all this. For weeks. You just hang out with her. It's all your fault. I could do what I want. 
crazy? The fuck are you doing here? Shit. Oh, for Don't fuck's move. sake, Don't man. Don't shoot the fuck. How many are you? Just us. It's just us. All right. Move your essence over there. Now. Uh, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad. But... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. What if I'd have just picked, so, let's do it? What was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Perfect. I'm surprised he hasn't killed us already, to be fair. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. God damn it, Ben, I told you- Shut up! <sighs> this is how you repay me? Fuck. Stealing from me? God no, damn it. No, man. it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees, hands on your head. Shit, don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now. Whatever you're about to make me do. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what? I mean, I can't. I can't fucking... Ah! I feel like, no matter what, Daniel's going to intervene by doing some sort of force push and sending this fucker through into orbit. Oh, man. The guy's got a fucking shotgun, dude, so that's a, that's, that's a wide... It's, it's not like a direct one-hit wonder. That's a fucking spray. That's gonna hit, you know, there's gonna be collateral damage, so let's not fucking overstep the boundaries Don't worry, here. Says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. Finn's a fucking Finn. idiot. He's worth- Finn's Just gonna do die. It. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't. Don't Just get on your damn knees! Yeah, now! He can't do this. Don't uh. fucking move! <sighs> it's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. That is true, he probably, yeah. But if yeah, you rip me true. off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after, too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. You shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's... it's Oh, man, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's either Finn's gonna die or fucking... Oh, shit. Daniel, do it! Get out! Run! Oh, son of a bitch! Shit! shit. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, fuck me.
Oh, dude. I could I could see that I could see that with just Finn's head getting blown to fucking pieces. But now Daniel is gonna be severely fucking injured. He's got a gunshot wound. Finn. Everybody's fucking out cold, man. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I was like, whose fucking blood is that? Holy fucking shit! He's got a fucking shard of glass in his eye! I don't know if you fucking saw that, but he had a fucking- Sorry, I need to put this camera back down. Jesus Christ, man. it by the way sorry who was it in the comments who was just like oh yeah by the way episode three is gonna be fun fun what do you mean fun he had a shard of glass in his eye people nearly died there was just, what do you mean fun no it was pretty fun I'm not gonna lie I'm <laughs> but holy shit man dude I want to get to the stats because I need to know I need to- they, they- they tend to have a habit of like, oh, if you did this, then you could have saved this person from dying, and then you kind of don't realize at the time, but you're like, oh shit. Who t oh my god, he lost his fucking eye! And he got shot. Oh my god! Wait, what if I just leave? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I could have just left. I don't know why. Okay, cool. You made uh, coffee for the others after drinking the last cup. Oh, shit. Oh, so that's what Penny was talking about. Okay, there he is with his one eye now. Fucking, you hit the target while knife throwing, 49%. You didn't hit the target while knife throwing. You hit the bullseye. Well, at least I hit the target. I know I hit the fucking target. At least I did that, I guess. Uh, you tried to be understanding with Daniel when, sorry, Daniel mentioned Karen. Uh, you refused to talk about finding Karen, 87%. Okay. I'm not going to say anything on that. Um, you asked Daniel why he doesn't wear his watch. You didn't mention the watch. Kind of self-explanatory, really. But 
I, I, I liked that we, we did mention because later when you had that chat with Daniel and you, you, you know, you both went to sleep at the same time, it was kind of like it added more to what would be their conversation in the future. So I'm glad I did that. You intervened with Big Joe slapped Cassidy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like when it comes to me, like you can, not not just in games, but mostly in real life. When it comes to talking shit and like, you know, getting physical, I'm bulletproof. You can say anything to me. There is not one person on this fucking planet who can offend me like I can. No one. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you think you know. I don't care what your background is. You can't offend me or you can't say shit to me. But the moment you chat shit to my friends or my family, you get fucking banged. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. Chat shit, get fucking banged. Friends, family, it's on fucking sight. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you can say what you want to me because I can take it, but you don't say shit to anybody that I know. That's just how it is. So, I don't know. I feel like a lot of me is, is coming out in these games. You're sort of seeing more of me in in certain situations uh you trimmed a lot of weed buds um your trimming was average trimming was average i think you'll find my trimming was fucking fantastic actually rude you didn't trim very efficiently uh you helped daniel clean the dishes you didn't help daniel with his chores but i offered and he said no so what what do you want <laughs> what do you want from me man uh, you were sober at the campfire. You were wasted at the campfire. I felt like setting a good a good example to Daniel, you know? Uh, you went to sleep with Daniel. You stayed up late and got a haircut. Now, that one I was curious about, but I value the dialogue and the, um, I guess, the lore of the game. You know, I valued the story developing more than I did getting a fucking haircut. So, you know, I, I well, at least we got a tattoo as well. You came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. Uh, Finn came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. Yeah, I mean, standard. I would have done the same in real life, to be fair. I could take a hit. Uh, you were in for the heist. You were out for the heist. You were eventually convinced to take part in the heist. So that would have been later on when it was like the no fucking way or okay, I'm in situation. Uh, you and Finn remained friends. You and Finn kissed. What the fuck did you just say? I'm so am I sorry, am I late to the party? Am I did I did, what? You and Finn kissed. Did I fucking was <laughs> When was that even on the table? You and Finn kissed? Okay. Um, you didn't get a tattoo. You chose... I need to put my fucking headset back on because I can't fucking see or hear shit. Uh, you didn't get a tattoo. You chose to have a wolf tattooed. Uh, you let Cassidy choose your tattoo. Let me just see what the tattoo would have been if she had tattooed us. Just give me one second. Oh, okay. It looks like trees. Yeah, we made the right fucking decision. I don't know if you can see that. So there's the wolf tattoo and that's the... Yeah, we... we yeah. One says remember and one says regret, so I don't know, okay, whatever, okay. So we got the wolf tattooed. I think that was that was a good choice, although the, the tattoo itself in question, maybe, maybe not. Uh, you didn't follow Cassidy for a midnight swim, you went to the lake and had a midnight swim with Cassidy. I don't know what, I don't know what difference that would have made to um, the outcome with, with uh, Finn and Daniel running off to, to do the heist, but, you know, it is, I, 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 I don't know. Cassidy got angry with you, 16%, and Cassidy didn't get angry at you. Okay. And the whole thing about them sneaking into the tent, I think they would have been interrupted anyways because of um, Hannah coming up and saying what she what she said about, like, Finn and shit, so... But all I could think of was, okay, Daniel's gone missing, so where the fuck is he? You know, shit's about to go down. Uh, you kissed Cassidy, you didn't kiss Cassidy. That was obvious! 
kissing Finn. I mean, I mean, fair play for for the inclusion. It's it's you know, but n I didn't even obviously I wouldn't register in my mind. But like, I didn't even think that there was chemistry. What the fuck? <laughs> You went into Cassidy's tent, you didn't enter Cassidy's tent. I wonder if shit would have gone down. I wonder if it- I wonder if it would have. Probably not, because the whole shit with Finn and, uh, Daniel, but, you know, it's just- it is what it is. Uh, you stole a vehicle without altering- alerting Big Joe. Whoever did that, that's a 27%, so that's not even, like, you woke up Big Joe and he went after you. Damn. Well, I'm glad I didn't get that. But whoever stole a vehicle without alerting Big Joe, kudos to you, because I couldn't see any fucking way of doing that. If you know, because I'm sure there's a couple of you who are very insightful when it comes to Life is Strange, who already give me plenty of information, if you know of a way of how it could have been done, please explain in the comments. I'd love to see no or, or know how. Because there's a chance I might not play this this whole game again for a while. We'll see what happens, but, um... You snuck into Meryl's house without being noticed. You alerted Meryl while sneaking into his house. You came in after Finn Daniel broke into Meryl's house. Again, whoever broke into uh, Meryl's house without being noticed, 4% kudos, because that's, that's fucking... I don't know how the hell you could have done that. Uh, you took the gun from Meryl's safe, 2%. Again, that's very small... Yeah, you didn't take the gun from Meryl's safe, 98%. You shot Meryl and Finn was killed. Okay. Holy, I haven't even read the rest, but holy shit. <sighs> this, is, this, is where, this is where it could all fuck up, okay? You shot Meryl and Finn was killed. You told Daniel to use his powers and Finn wasn't killed. Okay, you did nothing and Finn was, wasn't killed. You did nothing, and Finn was killed. Oh, okay. 80, so 0% of people, holy shit, this is, nobody, nobody has got, okay, I'm sure at this point, after a few years of the game being out, you know, people have shot and killed Meryl and, and got Finn killed, but 0% at the time is nuts, man. Uh... I feel like the obvious thing to do was to get Daniel to use his powers. For me, it would have been to get Daniel to sort of trust in uh, Sean again a bit. Which I'm going to get to, by the way, because I have a fucking bone to pick. Uh, you did nothing and Finn wasn't killed. I could see now why that's the second smallest percentage to get because... For me, I, I could just see his head getting fucking popped to pieces. Uh, you did nothing and Finn was, was, was killed. So that's that's the alternative that I could see happening. Cassidy was injured. Cassidy wasn't injured. That That's uh, that's a literally... That's a toss of the coin and catch it and hope for the best kind of thing. Really. I don't see any fucking way of, of this working out in that situation. Daniel waited for you in the morning. 77%. Daniel didn't wait for you in the morning. I don't know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that would have been depending on the previous episode, I would have guessed. Uh, Daniel did the dishes on his own. Daniel refused your help for the dishes. I did ask again. Uh, Daniel had your help doing the dishes. Daniel helped Sean carry the water tanks. Daniel refused to help with the water tanks. I didn't ask him, so I don't know why it's a refusal thing. Daniel didn't help with the water tanks. Daniel talked with Sean about his anger. Daniel went to sleep alone. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. Daniel used his powers, got injured, and lashed out. I'm glad I'm not the only... That was a, that's a big... That's the biggest percentage in that. But he's got a... He's going to think the war wound is, in, in, is cool, because he's a kid. He's going to think it's cool. The pain isn't, obviously. Um, but, oh, man. Daniel disobeyed, used his powers, and got injured. Daniel stayed... Stayed put, but lashed out after Finn died. Yeah, that would have been way worse, I think. Finn was shot dead, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. That is the smallest percentage, and I'm glad I did not... Oh, shit, I'm so nervous about what's going to come next.
This is it, son. You're toast. End of the road. No way out this time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Alone. Why is he alone? The way he walks? Was that Daniel? The way he walks, it could have been... It could have been Sean, but what if it's... What if they want us to believe it's Sean and it's actually Daniel? Ah, oh, dude, I don't know if this is... Uh... Puerto Lobos. I don't know if this is Puerto Lobos, but it's looking it's looking like it could be. Oh, fucking hell. I'm shattered, man. I'm fucking absolutely drained of energy, man. <laughs> oh fuck. Ah, this is fucking this is this episode was crazy. I'm just going to say I don't fucking like Daniel, okay? That's the bone I had to pick. Well, it's in my head, I don't fucking like Daniel. And I know what you're gonna say, oh, but he's just a kid. F fuck that. He's a brat, he's a fucking spoiled brat. And he's, I'm not gonna lie, he's getting on my fucking tits. And, of, and you know, he's cost me my fucking eye. He's cost Sean his fucking eye. He injured Cassidy. Granted, he, he saved us, we'll give him that. And granted, he can't help that he's got powers. But he's a fucking brat. And I don't like him. I'm just gonna say it. I don't like him. He's, he's in my bad books at the moment. Especially because he cost fucking Sean his eye. Episode 4 is next. Arguably, potentially... One of the more crucial episodes. Clearly... A game changer. I mean... Uh, I think every episode has been a game changer. Actually, I can't even, you know, I take that back because every episode from the first one has been just so much has changed and it's so much more of a fast-paced story compared to Life is Strange. And obviously, I'm not trying to compare the two because they're just completely two different stories, but it's crazy how much has changed. How much has happened? And there's so many questions left unanswered, like fucking what's happened to everybody back in Seattle? Has 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 life calmed down for them or is it still fucking crazy? Obviously it's still gonna be crazy. What's happened with the grandparents? Is Chris still alive? I, the, I, there's gonna be more questions because at this point we're gonna be on the run. Somehow Sean needs to, to go to hospital so that he doesn't obviously he's gonna lose his eye but he doesn't die from a severe infection or even blood loss or just the fact that he's lost his fucking eye. Fucking Daniel needs medical assistance because he got shot in the fucking, in, I think it was the, the right shoulder. Cassidy's injured. They're all unconscious. What if the goons fucking turn up and they're all unconscious and, you know, everybody gets fucking blapped in the face. And then, I think it's Daniel. But Sean or Daniel are walking the road alone and I don't fucking like that I hate that actually there's so there's just so much fucking oh man this whole this whole series so far is a fucking mess and we've only just gotten past the halfway mark and I have no idea what to expect but I do know this. I am very excited to find out what happens in episode 4. But, for now. This has been Life is Strange episode 4. This has been Life is Strange 2 episode 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you in the next episode of Life is Strange 2. Until next time, Madhouse. Perfect.
Ha, 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 ha.